Tao Fantasy Guide 8 Tips Every Player Should Know Before Starting Tao Fantasy is a shared open world MMORPG developed by Hota Studio for multiple platforms which includes PC, Android, and iOS devices. The global version of the game is published by Level Infinite. The game is being an MMORPG is quite sophisticated and has a steep learning curve. For that, here are 8 tips that you probably would have liked to know before starting the game. Okay, first tip, Tao Fantasy Interactive Map is really important. Use the Tao Fantasy Interactive Map whenever you are trying to locate something on the map, be it resources or enemies. Chances are they are already highlighted on the map. Aside from locating items, these interactive maps are also be used for marking already claimed resources. For example, if you found all chests and gold nucleus in a region, head over the map and take them out, so you can be sure that they are no longer present in the, in the area if you ever come back to find them again. Okay, these are some of the interactive map. Map 1, here are everything you can see. Okay, next will be take advantage of the shield breaker. Always make sure to use the shield breaker first on shielded enemies in order to break their shield and then go on a rampage with your DPS. Shields will reduce your character's damage by a significant margin. Until they are broken, some high level bosses can take your entire team out if you don't deal with the shield. Shield breaks depending on the bosses can provide external buffs that can be very helpful so break shields whenever possible then switch to your DPS. Okay, third, use unstuck option when necessary. Tao Fantasy has a dedicated button that will help you with glitches. MMO games are notorious for having weird bugs that can make you check character glitch or even see the end of the world. Whenever you get stuck or kicked out of the map area or experience glitches, just use the unstuck button and it should get resolved. The unstuck option is available at the setting menu of the game. Okay, next, 4. Zero Stamina Consumption Wall Climbing Trick Okay, for me personally, I'm a beta tester of the Chinese version of Tower Fantasy, okay. Tower Fantasy Chinese had a fancy trick that will allow you to climb anywhere while consuming zero stamina. And hopefully, this will work also in a global version. This trick doesn't require too much thinking or any kind of macro. All you have to do is press Ctrl key, space, space, and double key while climbing on any structure or wall. The control key is used to let your character leave the climbing position and you will need to get the timing right at the first spot after the climbing becomes the easiest task. Number 5 should be jetpack dash is useful in covering a distance. You can use another trick to cover more distance with your jetpack. All you have to do is perform dodges in the front direction while in the air and then activate the jetpack again. Doing this continuously will allow you to cover much more dis distance than normal gliding. Number 6. Dungeon weekly activity is crucial. Vitality is the stamina for the game, which is used for playing a lot of game content, but dungeon farming can still be initiated with a vitality to farm weekly activity points. This is certainly helpful for players of Tower of Fantasy that cannot play the game on a regular basis. Weekly activity points can be maxed in just 3 days when done right. Okay, 7. Tower of Fantasy Teammate Revival Tricks The game has a revival system for knocking out teammates that takes a bit of time, but there is a trick to shorten the time considerably. All you have to do is interact with the revival key once and dash away, and your ally will get revived regardless of whether you waited or simply tap, tap it once. This is especially useful in difficult battles, as even a single alive ally can turn tight of the battle with this. Okay, last and foremost is 8. Grab the free simulacrum gifts in Tao Fantasy. There is a certain arcade machine on Cetus Island that can provide you with valuable simulacrum gifts for free. Simulacrum gifts are used to increase the friendship with said simulacrum. This arcade machine can be played a maximum of 3 times per day. 
so make sure to give that place a visit every day. The rewards are randomized and can range from multiple tiers. Okay guys, thank you guys for watching. And what are your thoughts about our 8 tips that players should know before starting Tower Fantasy? Let us know in the comments below. And for more, more videos like this, uh, please subscribe and give, leave a like and leave a comment also. And it really helps the video a lot. And thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next video. Bye bye.